Hello. Well, this is unexpected. I wasn't planning to go live, but we just got some pretty exciting news in the field of Alzheimer's treatment. So you may have heard, maybe not. It's like breaking the press right now. There is a new medication that is not yet FDA approved, but will um, has had s- promising results. It's called lecanemab. And for people with early Alzheimer's disease who have taken this medication, it was shown to slow the progression of cognitive decline by 27%. Like, but compared to placebo. So, and the way it does it is it, it's targeting the beta amyloid and the plaque. Now, you may remember, was it last year when, without going through the whole FDA approval process, alucanumab hit the market? And they also, um, it was like the first medication to target beta amyloid in the brain and show that it was reducing in people with um, early cognitive impairment. But what it didn't show was like that it actually made an impact in the thinking skills, in the cognitive thinking skills. This drug has by 27%. Again, it's called lecanemab, L-E-C-A-N-E-M-A-B. Full results are going to be released in November. So really right around the corner. And this is probably the most exciting news that has ever happened in terms of like a new medication that can help people with Alzheimer's disease. Um, What we don't know, it doesn't seem like this has been, this was tested in anybody with more moderate or to severe symptoms. Um, It doesn't appear that this is something that was tested in people who have other types of dementia. It was only focusing on um, Alzheimer's disease. But as you know, a lot of times, uh, medications can be helpful, um, for other, uh, other dementias as well. So it's just something to keep an eye on something to keep a watch for. It is not yet available. Like your doctor's not going to have access to it, but something to realize like these amazing scientists and researchers, there's progress being made. And I know we don't see that all the time. And I know like a lot of the research and a lot of the news, it's been pretty bleak. It's been pretty um, frustrating to see the medications not really doing a lot. Um, Medications maybe like the current major medications, they help with maybe the symptoms of dementia, like Aricept is a common one. Namenda is a common one, but they don't actually do anything to slow the progression. A lot of times that's a, that's a myth. That's a misconception. People think like these common medications, a lot of people are on like Aricept and Amenda, et cetera. They think it like slows the progression of the disease. It doesn't. It, it helps with the symptoms for some people. But this new medication is actually showing evidence that it's reducing beta amyloid in the brain and actually making a positive impact in cognitive thinking. So far, like no medication has done both of those things. Of course, there's side effects like for um, every medication and about 21% of the people in the trial had some sort of side effect, but it doesn't seem to be as severe and serious as the Um Yes, uh, Brandy says she read it today. It is awesome. It is exciting. So I'll try to keep you updated as more information becomes public, but it's called lecanemab. It is showing help for mild Alzheimer's disease, not only in reducing beta amyloid, but also in improving cognitive symptoms, like slowing the cognitive decline, which is huge. Um, So hopefully it will be available um, in a doctor's office at some point and uh, some point soon, hopefully. And um, yeah, there's hope on the horizon, you know, maybe not for the people in the moderate to severe stages, but certainly for you and me and certainly for people who are in the... um, early stages. So that's what I have for you today. Was not planning on going live. In fact, I just recorded another YouTube video with a bunch of slides. You'll see that here in a couple of days. Um, Probably not. Yeah, Dave, I would say, so Dave, you may have been joining new. He's saying, could it probably work at a grade six? I'm guessing like you're saying a stage six Louis bodies on a 91 year old. This is for early Alzheimer's disease only. That's what the clinical trial so far has been testing. So for for now, it says your doctor thinks only sleep and anxiety pills can help her now. Yeah, I mean, at this point, stage six Louis body, you might be more focused on improving quality of life, improving comfort. But in terms of um, right now, what do we have to significantly improve? 
a, a situation like that, we don't we don't have much, but there is a lot to be done just for quality of life and comfort and things like that. Okay, that's what I have for you. Just a quickie. Hello, um, all of you who are here, and um, let's stay tuned and uh, thank all of these amazing. Oh, I should say a caveat too. So far, the results that have been released is actually from the pharmaceutical company, right? So we all know like they're not necessarily a non-biased group, but the results they're producing are very promising. It's very exciting. And you know, there will be a whole other group of researchers and scientists to go and like duplicate and replicate and test and see how it is. So the, the current results we have now are from the pharmaceutical industry. So yes, Brenda, I agree. Okay. So thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And um, oh, just in case um, you don't know, in two weeks, I am doing um, I'm doing an Overcoming Overwhelm workshop series. So um, it's going to be a five-day live experience. You don't have to attend live, but if you do, there'll be interaction. There'll be opportunity for questions and answers. But the whole goal as the holidays are approaching is to help caregivers overcome overwhelm in five days. I'm going to be going over the strategies, the tools, what you can do in your day-to-day life, how to just make things better, right? Because when we're overwhelmed, it's like we're overwhelmed because we have so much to do, but the overwhelm actually stops us from being able to do all the things. And so I want to go over some strategies and tools to help set you up for success, especially as the holidays come so that you can, uh, you know, give yourself a chance at some joy, some peace, some some love, some connection with your loved one and with yourself and other family members and friends with the upcoming holiday season. So I'm excited. Um, What's considered early stage? So, you you know, um, if you've watched my video, Kim, on the stages of dementia, I talk about like the three stage model, which is my favorite. It's basically just like mild, moderate, severe. And to determine what stage somebody's in, there's different measures somebody could use, but it's, it, you have to look at the whole big picture of somebody, your doctor, your loved one's doctor should be able to let you know what stage they are in. Um, a lot of times it's based on their current physical symptoms, like the, their, their behaviors and how they're able to function in their day. But also if they've had cognitive testing, that's also, um, would help us better know what stage somebody is in. A lot of times people think like, oh, you know, my loved one has this symptom. Are they in the early stage or are they in the middle stage? It's like, you can't tell by just one symptom. You have to look at the big picture. That's why it's important to have a um, an expert be able to um, work with your loved one and figure out what's going on. If you wanted a quick and dirty way to try to figure something out on your own, Kim, you could look up the FAST score. F-A-S-T. You can just type in Google, like FAST score for dementia. Just give yourself a little, like, quick and dirty, quick and dirty of what, where you think your loved one would be. But for the most start, uh, for the most um, part in the early stage of dementia, you know, they're going to have maybe some forgetfulness, some attention problem, maybe some difficulty organizing, maybe starting to have some problems with like managing appointments or managing finances, but it's not really to the point where, um, you know, they're no longer, able to dress themselves appropriately or toilet themselves appropriately. They're um, first, a lot of people in the mild stage that it's pretty easy maybe for the symptoms to go missed or for the symptoms to be explained away as like, oh, they're just stressed or, oh, they haven't had a lot of sleep or, oh, they are just having a bad day. Um, A lot of times, like when I was working in the assessment clinic, by the time somebody came to get tested for dementia, like they were already in the moderate stage because it was like, family is you're like not quite sure like the symptoms are kind of mild um there it's not like a blatant apparent change um for alzheimer's disease in the early stage um but for the most part you know they're still functioning pretty well with you know walking and managing kind of the day to day but some things are starting to be off they might be having a harder time cooking um kind of managing those bigger tasks again it's different for every single person it's different depending on the type of dementia and you're going to have to look at more than one symptom so hopefully that helps you yes you're welcome dave yeah a, a lot of my videos are targeted more towards that like improving quality of life improving connection because unfortunately for people who have already progressed to the moderate to severe stage we don't have anything right now um but this is really promising for early stages of alzheimer's disease unclear about any other type of dementia at this point. And um, hopefully this will, you know, hopefully these initial promising 
results will hold up. So I just wanted to come on and share that with all of you. You could probably search, um, you can probably search online, just type in Lacanamab and you'll probably see a lot of articles about that hop up today. Um, I found in early stages, awful as it sounds, I read her diary. This made it clear for me, plus memory problems. Yeah, like sometimes you might notice like they're having problems um, like paying their bills because it's kind of like higher level stuff, like higher level stuff, like paying bills, managing medications, um, cooking meals, managing appointments. These are things that like in the beginning start to like slip and start to have a hard time, including maybe writing, right? Being able to like form sentences in the head and put them on paper. You might be able to start to notice some changes there as well. All right. That's what I have for you all today, Care Blazers. Welcome. And I hope to see some of you in a couple of weeks for our um, five-day overcoming overwhelm workshop. All right. Bye.